Hi, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikar. I'm the founder and managing director of Amrita Homeopathy. We are placed at two locations at Kormangla 80 feet road, 4th block and also at Marathali. Usually tetanus vaccination is to be given to a patient if there is a very deep injury and if there is some foreign body in it, if there is dirt in it and if uh, there is a possibility that this injury can turn septic then it is as a preventive you can take a tetanus vaccination it is especially given to people who are have not taken a full course of a tetanus vaccine and um, generally in homeopathy we use medicines which prevent uh, the tendency for tetanus to come up and even in acute tetanus where the patient has actually developed convulsions and locked jaw there are homeopathic medicines which can improve. Earlier when I was practicing in a village, there was a patient who had come up with tetanus and lockjaw and I had prescribed him hypericum and this patient's convulsions. In two days, he was much better and uh, in about a week, he was back to normal. So that is the speed with which homeopathic medicines can work uh, in severe conditions like tetanus, which are generally considered fatal. The other medicine which is commonly used in conditions like tetanus is ledampal. <clears throat> so very often uh, patients do take tetanus injections even when it is not required. I would say that you can go for tetanus injection if you are not fully vaccinated. Initially take your vaccination course and if you feel that that injury is very deep, there is a possibility of it turning into uh, sepsis, then go in for it.